You know, it's good to feel inspired. Everyone needs a way to express what's really going on. It's good to feel connected. See our needle? We're gonna pop it through. Social connectedness is a key pillar of community resilience. And for the other stitches in it. It's good to get creative. Thread It Together started with an idea to create a mentorship program for teens facing adversity. Well, what started as this kind of tiny idea uh, grew exponentially when I met Tina LaChance. She was a local seamstress extraordinaire in town. She was really interested in uh, creating programs that supported women and employment pathways. So we kind of combined our visions to create Threaded Together. Instead of having our grand opening party, we completely pivoted and switched gears to show up for our community the best way that we knew how. We had thousands of masks come through our door. I can feel that um, nose bitch right here. I'm gonna just start and sew all the way across. We hired a bunch of really lovely people. We started with PPE making and we soon um, started a collaboration with Northern Arizona Volunteer Medical Corps and we worked with them to create thousands of reusable hospital gowns. The doctors from the hospital showing up with a pickup truck, the back of a pickup truck completely full of materials for us and telling us they needed as many masks as we could possibly make. It was so fulfilling to be able to put my hands to work during the pandemic. I ended up sending uh, thousands of pre-made masks out to our neighboring reservations and tens of thousands of pre-made mask kits out to our neighboring reservations so you know we could help with autonomy and personal empowerment. The most powerful part about working together was being together and being able to be a team and seeing what happens when, when people come together. The community just showed up for each other. We all worked together and through our mask and gown making effort, we we saved lives. I felt super connected to my fellow sewists and to the community and I really am excited to move forward. Good. For this last year, what we've seen with the shutdown and schools not being in session is our kids need a place to express themselves creatively, to find meaningful connection, to meet new friends, to feel safe and empowered. And so that's the thing I'm definitely most excited about moving forward. When we're able to take materials and create something beautiful and useful, then that connects us both to other people and also to the universe. So the more opportunities that we can provide to our community members to get together, to gather in safe ways, um, the more resilient we're gonna be as a community.